Hey YouTube, I've got an awesome update video for you today, but first I want to start off by saying a big thanks to Zandak, who donated quite a bit of money, $26 monthly reoccurring donation on Patreon to me today. And I'll be getting that money tomorrow, of course, because I get paid by Patreon on the first day of every month. Now, that ties into what I mostly wanted to talk about in this episode, which is that we now have hit our goal of $150 a month, which means... I'm going to be purchasing an awesome Minecraft server for all of us to play on. Whether you donate it or not, you're all allowed in. Although there will be a whitelist that I will toggle on and off in certain occasions, perhaps if I'm streaming it or doing a special video on it and I need to clear things out a bit, then I'll, do, then I'll have the uh, whitelist toggle on and off. And if you want to know how to get on the whitelist, all you have to do is go check out my Patreon page, scroll to the bottom to the reward tier, and that'll explain it. So I've got a question for you guys, actually, is, um, what Minecraft server hosting site should I go with? I've been hunting around for, um, a couple hours now, and I've done this over the course of a couple days, actually. And it's really hard to find what server to go with, because every server website, it'll tell you its plans it has, of course, but you don't really know how good they are until... You've used it, you know, because you don't know about the downtime because they don't tell you about that. All they really tell you is the RAM, about how many people it supports, stuff like that. Stuff that could potentially be better or worse. Now, it's hard to search for what is the strongest server, because I want the strongest server out there. Money is not an object in this. What matters is simply how many people can I get on the server with it still being playable and fun. Because even if we might not have many people on it at any given time now, the community's always growing, so the server is always going to have to grow. So, but the first one I found was called GG Servers, for instance, and it claimed it could support up to 400 people on one of its servers, but after searching around for a little bit, I found a lot of horror stories about dealing with their horrible customer support, all kinds of issues with downtime, all kinds of things like that that just made me decide, like, this is really inexpensive and really strong, apparently, but apparently it just completely sucks, so I'm not going to go with them. Like, it's not an easy thing to search for what's the strongest one, what one is always up, which one do you get a very stable server out of, because no one's searching for that, no one's asking for that. All the search results on YouTube, or on, on YouTube, all the search results on, on Google are just, what's the cheapest? And I'm not looking for the cheapest, I'm looking for the best. And if you search for the best, all you're finding is the cheapest. They're like, this is the cheapest that claims it has this. And the worst part is, because I don't have time to like test all these different ones, and that's a lot of money down the drain, a lot of work down the drain to test all these things, when I just want a good server for us to all play on now, I have to go off user anecdotes. So it's this particular user didn't have a problem with this server. This particular user did have a problem with the server. And really all I have to do is build up enough anecdotes of people with a lot of experience with this. Like, does anyone out there have a really strong server? Can you tell me your server specs? Does it work? Are you happy with it? Are you not happy with it? I even want to hear your horror stories. If you have a server host you've been in with and they gave you a lot of problems, tell me all about it so I know, like, I can weigh the goods and the bads and decide who to go with. So this is for everyone. Help me out in finding the best server hosting for a Minecraft server. And um, then we can all play Minecraft together. Again, it's totally free to play Minecraft with me once we have this server purchased. I'll get paid tomorrow on it. Um, I don't know if the server would end up going up this month or next month. Really, it depends on when I decide on a server hosting, but I want it to go up really, really soon. I don't want this to be like a thing I put off for months. I want this to go up as soon as possible. Because I've, we got the money now, just gotta, just gotta do this. So if anyone out there wants to help with this, then uh, just, you know, comment and everything. Let me know your, your server stories and everything. If you have a really long story, then inbox it on YouTube. It'd make it a lot easier. Also, it makes it a little bit easier to communicate with you one-on-one. -on -one. But if you just have a short little thing, then just put it in the comments. I read all the comments, of course. Uh, one last thank you again to Zandak, who donated that last bit of money we needed for the server. That's $26 a month. That's not a, not a cheap thing that he's doing, so that's awesome. He's getting a lot of nice rewards back, although, of course, the money is a lot better than the rewards. I wish I could give more back. And um, if you want to help donate and uh, support me 
Of course, the Patreon is in the description where you can donate, just like Zandak did. See the reward tiers and everything, and probably help wind up with an even better Minecraft server. So, thank you all for watching, and until next time, have a nice day.